everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios, and today I have a special video. I have a large box from the last two sales in June from Spectrum Art Creations, and it is jam-packed full. I will tell you, 50% of this box is fabric, and that was 50% of my order. So, let's jump into what's in here. I've not looked, I just... Opened it up to make it easier to get into. So I'm going to set it on the chair behind me. And I guess I'm supposed to show this off first. This is a piece of trim. Oh, this was one of the doilies that I bought. I bought two of these. Isn't that pretty? Of course, if my sister starts making stuff, one of these may find its way to her. But she's going to have to get on the ball. So, um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but the price is right, and I had to have one or two. So, <laughs> there's that. You know, like I need more lace. So, there's that. Here's the other one. We'll set it aside. Um... I bought two of the ideals. This one's friendship and this is nostalgia. There were pictures in both of them as Maddie did the flip through that I fell in love with. And here's the key to ideals. Whoa, we've got some glare going on there, don't we? Here's the key to things when you buy from Maddie at Spectrum Art Creations during the live sale. You can go to the website and you can look and see the products they have. But during the live sales, she actually flips through the paper pads, the books, um, so you can actually physically see what you're going to get when you buy that item. Go on the website, you're going to see the cover. You go to the live sale on Saturday, she does a flip through and shows you just exactly what you're getting. And I love that about the Spectrum Art Creations live sales. Um, this napkin, I really liked. It had that 1950s vibe for me. And... That's that's one of the eras that I really love. So we have that. I'm going to try not to get to the paper pads right away, but I guess that's where we're going. I have these little watch charms, pocket watch charms. And I got those, I think, in a couple of different finishes. Then I have the bee napkins. I couldn't remember if I had this one or not, but I knew I wanted to put this, incorporate this into the bee journals. And if I use what I have, and then I've got some for kits, then that's okay, too. Um, let's see, this one, this one. Move my pen out of the way. Uh, this was a collection of, oh, this was a paper pack from Madison. And I'm going to try and get something made with this paper pack and post it on the Spectrum Art Creations Facebook group before the end of the month. Here's the thing. If you buy stuff from Spectrum Art Creations and you're a member of our Facebook group, you make something with the items that you buy and post a picture to the Facebook group with the correct hashtag and the hashtags are listed, then you go into the drawing for a $5 gift card from their store. Um, I bought this Windows die with the Windows box. I bought that in mind for a card. I got these two playing card sets. And these are, if I'm not mistaken, these are Spectrum Art Creations. This one is a Spectrum Art Creations original. And this is from a vintage card pack. And then I have these blue papers to do something with from Madison. And I'm going to try and get that done over the weekend. Perhaps during the crafting symposium this weekend that I'm taking part of, uh, Stamp with Love. So there's that. And then there's that. And I have another die to catalog, but I'm going to enjoy playing with this one. I saw, I have a punch that does little teeny tiny poinsettias. And so I thought about doing this window box with poinsettias for a Christmas card, as well as the spring flowers. So something to play with. And I'm going to pile everything up here because I want to put it back in the box for now. Here is freebies. They were punch outs that I got um, <laughs> on a game that we play called Steel Deals. No Deal or Steal. 
and I chose the wrong box. <laughs> As I come across fabric, I'm going to lay it off to the side. Um, I got these vintage cutouts again, that 1950s style. And I'm not going to open the, well, maybe we can't open the bag. I'm not going to open the bag because I'll be here forever. I will show them off. It's called Have a Good Day, and they're made in China. But they're vintage fashion um, images. No fussy cutting involved. And then I got this new set of um, engraving layers from Tim Holtz. And they're black and white, which means I can come in and I can color these with my alcohol markers, my watercolor pencils, whatever I want to use on these, and I can color these. And there are 76 pieces in here to play with. You know, because I need more Tim Holtz. We all need more Tim Holtz, right? Okay, I'm setting these aside. Because there's a lot of those in here. Eleven, in fact. Okay, then I have these charms to go on my Christmas albums. They're called, uh, they say, Believe. Um, here's another one of those vintage. And these are all, like, 50s housewives. Two sets of those. Um... Ephemera from Kathy Holden. Love this. You're going to see more Kathy Holden here in a little bit. Here's more of those charms that say believe. or um, Yeah, excuse me. They say beautiful. Then I have... This was a prize pack that I uh, got. It's from Bow Bunny. And it goes with... It will coordinate with the set that I used um, in the Har Bow Bunny Harmony collection. Then I got this die set. And this will do... Um, scalloped pages that roughed edge and then I've got a uh, I have like a brick layer die in this set and I'm not sure where this came from what this company is uh, still big in here one of those one of those oh wow I got love and I bought two packages of those because I can put those in my pink ribbon journals and in Valentine journals. Then there's this cabochon. I thought that was pretty. I'd like to make a mold for cabochons. And then I have this one in the blues in the vintage fashion plates. Um, another Butterfly napkin. I want to do this on a t-shirt. <laughs> Brown paper from Bernie. Yay! And then I have these charms. And they say, find joy in the journey. I thought that was perfect for a travel journal. Or my personal journal. Getting caught up in the cardboard over here. We're just going to pitch it off to the side. That was good that. My magic goals. This is the Jingle Bell collection. I know I'm going to make noise, so bear with me. Because, you know, I didn't unwrap first. These are the Magicals from Lindy's. This is the Jingle Bells collection. And I'm going to use these in... Um, the card uh, class that I am taking with Tiffany Solaro during the Stamp with Love uh, symposium this weekend. So I needed to have those in time. And bless uh, Maddie's heart. She was running out, but she knew that I needed a set of those for class, so she made sure they came through. And then I have another set of those charms. These say hope. Okay, then what's in here? Just says Kelly on it. So what did I get? Oh, the rice papers from uh, LTD. That's pretty. And that is like a ready-made journal cover. Either one of them is like a ready-made journal cover. Or you could fold it and have the whole front and back of the journal just like that. That's pretty. Okay. Anything with roses had my attention. Okay, papers. Let's do the big pad that's over here. I have this pad, um, Sherbert from Spectrum or from 49 to Market. It's called Spectrum Sherbert. 
with that I have um, the botanical rub-ons and the 6x8 paper pad to play with. And I thought spring journals, perfect collection for a spring journal. So there's that, and I'm going to drop these back into the box. And now we get to get to the good stuff. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fat quarters of Kathy Holden fabric. And I'm going to rustle and make noise so I can take these out of the package so we don't have the glare. But there's this one. And I think I have this one. I'm not sure. And there's no way I'm going to get it all in frame. So, so there's this one. This one has a Christmas, Christmas theme. I'll let this way. You'll see it sideways. But you have a better shot of seeing the whole, the whole thing. So I have that one from Kathy Holden Fabric. I have been collecting Tim Holtz Fabric. And I wanted the Kathy Holden Fabric. I've always looked at, Tim, at Kathy as being the female version of Tim Holtz when it comes to the art stuff. And so I want to make a throw for my sofa. A reversible one where Tim Holtz Fabric's on one side and Kathy Holden on the reverse. Then there's this one with the music notes. music pages and this I this is all Christmas related as well you have deck the halls you have silent night the snowman came upon a midnight clear heart the herald angels sing lots of different ones in there so I have that then we have the postage stamps and I think I'm just about to the point where I could start looking at putting this together so I have this one with all the different postage stamps and I may not need them all for my quilt I'll take out um, I'm looking at doing probably a 4 by 4 square um, and then so I may have some that I can do like strips or smaller squares in samples in the Etsy shop. Which, trust me, the Etsy shop is coming. I promise. I just cannot work in chaos, and right now the studio is in chaos. Then we have the Ledger fabrics. With all the Ledger notations in them. I could maybe even do like four by four squares of all the Kathy Holden fabrics as one of my giveaways for the 500 subscriber. If you think a collection of the four by four squares of Kathy Holden is something you'd like to have, let me know in the comments below because as I start trying to put these together and I don't have anything that's repetitive. So We'll see what happens here. But this one's another one of the Christmas, vintage Christmas toys, music, um, an old um, sales card that the bells were on. So there's that one. I love Kathy Holden fabrics. And in this small town, it's hard to get to quilt stores that carry them. Um, Kurt at Rusty Moon Quilts does carry some Kathy Holden and he does carry some Tim Holtz. But he does lives on Facebook on Tuesday nights for previews of fabric. And they're usually all gone. And since I don't get on Facebook much, I pretty much miss out on getting them. I get whatever's left. This one's like a um, cross stitch or needle point. Looks like maybe they would photographed lots of different pillows. We're getting there, I promise. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Then there's this one. And this one has more of a spring theme with it. Blues, lavenders, violets and greens and eggs and 
bird's nest. That one's pretty. All of Kathy Holden fabrics are pretty. Hers have more of a feminine twist to them, whereas Tim's are mostly um, the grunge or the... Um, not technology. Um, the steampunk and the... I know what I want. It's on the tip of my tongue. I love this one with the calling cards. Um, industrial. That's what I was trying to think of. Industrial. So there's all these calling cards, and you could use these, and you could stamp on the calling cards, which I thought was kind of cool. Let's see if we can get that one to fold the right way. There we go. Of course, now I have something else I need to put away in the studio until I'm ready to do the quilts. <laughs> of course. And I was all done spell spending till she brought out the Kathy Holden fabrics. Fat quarters for $3 a piece, and let me tell you, it does not take long for those $3 fat quarters to add up. <laughs> I looked at my total at the end of the night, and I about choked. I love this one, but this is more of a guy's theme. We have three left. And this is more the female version, and I think I have, I have one of these. I can't remember which one, but I've got another Kathy Holden fabric that I bought. Actually, I think I bought it at Kurt's when Terry was visiting. And I love this one with the red um, stamps and labels and ledger. This one really has a nice pop to it. Now, we saw the colored stamps earlier. Here is, if I can find the end I'm supposed to open. Here are the stamps, the canceled stamps in the neutrals. And I like the neutral tones a lot. And you could cut these out individually um, or use them as a fabric flip. Maybe in a friendship journal where you're talking about correspondence and uh, pen pals. And lastly, We have this one. We have this one. And this is this will go great in my um, men's uh, fishing journal that I've been saving stuff for. I have some vintage Field and Stream magazines that I purchased at a flea market, antique mall kind of place, and knew I wanted to do a fishing theme. I mean, we are in the Ozarks, and... Fishing is what we do around here, so I wanted to make sure I did a fishing journal. <coughs> that is it. That's all of it. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot of fabric. So, um, what is today? You are seeing this on Thursday. We will be back here tomorrow for the bee journal. Depending on, I'm recording this on Tuesday, so depending on where I'm at in the studio process, we're either going to uh, add fabric flips or we're going to work on fabric, I'm going to have fabric ruffles to show you. I do not have the sewing machine set up, so what I'm looking at doing is doing them on the ironing board and pressing them into place and then using the fabric tack. The challenge with that is, is while my ladder shelf is drying, that all of my die cutting machines go on, they are currently sitting on the ironing board. So it's whether or not I can get them moved off the ironing board as to whether I'm doing the ruffles or we're doing fabric flips, but we are going to work with fabric on Friday. So until then, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and make sure to click that notification bell so you know when the 500 subscriber giveaway starts popping up in your feed. Thanks for joining me in the studio today, and create a blessings.